Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Liu Dayun. I'm a trainer from the wireless training department. Today's topic is 5G use case. Our objective is after this uh, lesson, you will be able to describe the progress of 5G services and describe the business application of 5G key industries and describe the development of steps of 5G services. Uh, we will elaborate the content in two chapters. Chapter one, we will focus on the development of 5G business. And chapter two, we will uh, see the applications, uh, application cases of 5G. Let's uh, start with the first chapter. Uh, 5G is increasing very fast. Uh, GSMA has increased its uh, prediction of 5G prediction. Uh, it predicts that uh, by the year of uh, 2025, there will be 1.4 billion of connections for 5G. Uh, uh, let's see this chart. Now, let's see this chart. By the year of 2025, the 5G will occupy around 15% of the mobile market. And the connection will be 1.4 billion, uh, 1.4 billion users. Uh, this uh, will take only around six years, six or five years. Uh, it's much faster than 3G and 4G. And by, by that time, the 5G will cover 40% of the population. And there will be uh, 500 billion investment on the 5G. So uh, 5G will be uh, developing faster than our expectation. And there is another uh, organization, which uh, is uh, IHS, uh, have also a prediction uh, about the, the e e economic activities uh, in the years of uh, 2035, uh, a little bit longer. And there will be 12 trillion of economic activities which are related by 5G. Among all of these are distributed in different industries. And we can see that the biggest share is the manufacturing, okay, this one. Uh, it has 3,300 uh, 3, okay, millions uh, of the economic uh, activity. So all of these kind of uh, uh, services in different, uh, in different industries will be provided in uh, three uh, scenarios. We have uh, been very familiar with these three scenarios, and these scenarios are the EMBB, uh, three scenarios, and they all have a similar market share. Uh, each of them uh, will occupy around one third uh, of the economic uh, activities. So this is a huge number of money uh, in the future, uh, in the future around uh, 20 years. Okay, uh, and this year of the MWC, uh, that is the Mobile World Congress, uh, and one concept was uh, uh, issued, that is the 5G AAP, uh, the 5G as a platform. Uh, 5G can act as a platform for the customers, uh, for the industries, and also it's a flat platform for the operator or carriers. Uh, the customers can get plenty of service types okay, from the network, which we cannot get from 4G or 3G. For example, the ultra-high-resolution uh, video, okay, AR video, uh, AR games. Okay. Uh, this is for the uh, customer, uh, for the end consumers. And for different industry, uh, our business customers, they may have their network slices uh, for their individual purposes, indeed for their individual usage. Now, for example, uh, the power, uh, the electricity power supply uh, company, okay, they may need one slice of the network as a subnet, okay, as, a, as, as if it is their own network and carrying their uh, services which are related to the uh, power supply. And also uh, for the operator, eight different network slices, and also very uh, easy for the operation and maintenance. So it is also a very 
convenient platform now for the operators to provide different types of uh, services or provide different slices of the network uh, to form different sub-networks for uh, business uh, clients, uh, for business uh, subscribe, uh, users. So uh, this is the, the 5G, okay? It can act as a platform for all parties. And 5G brings new business opportunities. Uh, let's have a brief review of 3G, 4G uh, services. In a 3G time, uh, the main service will be uh, the mobile internet. In 3G, uh, yes, around 10 years ago, or more than 10 years ago, actually, okay, around 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, so uh, at that time, uh, we just have smartphone. A uh, smartphone, very new, comes to our life. And uh, that is the new service introduced by 3G. Uh, and after some years, uh, we have 4G, okay, 4G. Uh, 4G uh, enlarged the market of the internet, mobile internet. And we know that it, this changed our life. Uh, we are now using smartphone every day, and we get a lot of information from our, our smartphones, right? Okay. And in 4G, we also have some new services like uh, Internet of Things, narrowband, okay, Internet of Things, and the WTTX. It has some uh, uh, broadband access okay, to some uh, houses. Uh, so this is the services uh, brought by 4G. And 5G, uh, the mobile internet will be still there. Uh, the bandwidth will be enhanced. But the market share of the mobile internet may reduce. Okay. And there will be plenty of new service types. Uh, for example, the FWA, the fixed uh, or wireless access, just the broadband access. This may take a little bigger market share uh, comparing with uh, 4G uh, because this can provide better bandwidth okay, for the internet access. It can provide a similar bandwidth to the fixed line. Okay. So it can guarantee the experience for the internet uh, services. And also uh, for internet things, uh, MBIOT will still exist. And in uh, uh, 5G, MMTC may, uh, may be introduced, which can provide even larger capacity of the connections to the uh, machines. Okay, and also uh, very new is the URLC, uh, which is the very uh, ultra-reliable and low-latency communication. Uh, this is for some controls, very mission-critical controls like the industry uh, control, or like the uh, automated driving, okay, which need very, uh, reliable, very much uh, high level of reliability and also low, very low latency are needed. So this is other service type that can be provided by the 5G. So according to these uh, service types, uh, newly, introduces, new, newly introduced, uh, 5G can uh, provide this, uh, can support such uh, business opportunities like uh, EMBB, a mobile broadband, a smart grid, Automatic driving, okay, smart manufacturing, uh, smart healthcare, and so on. Okay, is out make maybe out of our uh, imagination. It can support many many kinds of services okay, in the future, more and more. 